200. You don't get to see this until my favorite. Oh, this is yeah. awesome, you guys. Oh, it's plugged. Cool. Oh. There you go. Oh, we got a, at least one keeper. Dump it right into their butter right here. That's the crab butter. Oh boy. You got your natural butter. Mmm. Okay, come put one out back here then. Ah, you e sharp hooks. <laughs> Fish, fish on. He's there. Oh, I didn't take Got him. Huh? Is it a good one? <laughs> Morning, addicts. We're out here on Tillamook Bay with Big Dave doing a little spring chinook fishing. First pass, first couple minutes, even though Sean was late, we're hooked up, baby. We got a fish on. We got salmon. In the Oh, it's a nice get the one. other, get the other rod in there. Get in there. A little chaos, a little chaos. Here we go. Yeah! yeah baby. <laughs> Woo! Fish it's on, baby. Boat, baby. Say no fin, say no fin. There's no fin, I saw it. Oh, it's a hot one, boys. I saw it, there's no fin. Keeper. <laughs> oh, it's a real one, boys. Good one. That's how we'd like to start our mornings right there. <laughs> Just got that baby in the holder. There we go, guys. Look at that hey, addicts, football. Leave a like for that one, baby. That's a donkey to start the morning. Oh we didn't have the God. rods in five minutes. Look we at barely that. got them in. Look at this, ladies and gents. <laughs> Look at the sea scales coming off it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a little bit different than what you're typically used to us seeing doing springer fishing. Typically, we're way up river fishing in the Columbia River and some of those, you know, way up in inland. Well, we were this, supposed to be up there today. Yeah, actually, we were supposed to be there today. It blew out, so we came down here to hang out with Big Dave for the day. But this is the difference. You can see this fish fresh out of the ocean, scales still falling off of it. I mean, as far as a spring Chinook specimen, this is it. So, I don't know. All right. I like this start, baby. Stay with us, guys. We're going to be back with more. <laughs> Let's get these rods back in the water. Woo! Yeah. yeah. A couple more of these and we're on point. We might, we don't know what we're doing today. We're gonna salmon fish. We might go do a little bottom fishing. Got the crab pots. Got a couple crab pots. I don't know, it's just a, we're gonna mix it up today. So hope you guys are enjoying this. Hopefully we find another one or two of these and we'll all be eating good tonight. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got hearts, we got a lot of candlefish in here. Matter of fact, I got an idea. We'll see, let's cut that thing open. If it's got candlefish in it, we'll stuff them in the brads and that'll work. That's what they're eating in here. There's something in here. Crab spawn. He's been eating crab spawn. Bunch of crab spawn. That's all, all crab spawn. Isn't that crazy? Look at all that. That's all baby crabs in its stomach. It's pretty oh, wild. So when you can't get a needlefish or a candlefish out of it, we'll stuff it full of crabs. I don't know. I'm sure it would work. We're gonna try it. Oh, Sam, Sam, Sam! Wait, wait, wait. He's there. Sam, here, let me go grab it. Oh, he, here. I saw it, I saw it. Is he there? It unloaded. It's off. Right before I grabbed it, I saw that rod just whoop, unload. All right, addicts, we uh, we just lost the fish, but we're gonna throw these crab pots in. Hopefully, find us a couple deep keeper dungeness crab. So we got Sam feeding the buoy out first, and what we'll do is we'll feed the buoy out. We'll get the right over the spot that we want to be, and we'll drop these crab pots down. We'll let them soak for an hour or two uh, before the before the high tide, and then we'll come back, pull them up, and hopefully have some keeper crab. Looking good. Right. We're try something new, guys. Put some crab spawn. I don't think this has ever been done before, not that I know of. Put some crab spawn in there, and then top it with some anchovy. Call it good.
like that. It's gonna stay tight. Lock and loaded. Are you getting this on video, Sean? I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm pro tangling. I think we need to get him a Dave's <laughs> Tangle Free. <laughs> Dave, I need a different way. Fresh new bait and just puts it into a small. Oh, oh. oh you come back! God! I was just going for the gas! What He's gonna mind? gas him! Right well guys, looks like we're fishing with no hooks today with Big Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we had another one. We had another one. We have video evidence. Short bite. It was a long biter. That's three know. Springer bites. That's like winning the lottery out here. We're early. It's early. It's not even nine o'clock yet. Though. Well, and it's early, and it's kind of early in the season too, guys. So we're not expecting an absolute bloodbath by any means. Like, we're you know a couple fish out here is a win for us today. So it's a good start. Got to keep that positive fishing attitude. PFA, I'm a big believer. <laughs> there you go, boys. Oh, he just popped. He just popped. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is how I wait for fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Back up. Nick's going for a pee bite. He's going for a pee bite, everybody. Yeah, let it hang out, buddy. Go ahead. All right, so we're out here and uh, we're come checking on one of our little spots out. We got old Tim Juarez up here. He's by himself. <laughs> Probably doing a little test fishing. Doing a little test fishing. We're just getting started down here at the coast and I think he just got one or he's fighting one right now. He's got one on, I'm pretty sure. Or he, nope, he's still got it he's on. Fighting he's fighting one, right, one now. right now. We're gonna have to go ahead and reel up. <laughs> and Tim Juarez, guys, is yeah. a huge proponent to our broodstock program down here on the coast. He's he's one of the people that kind of got this program started, the originators of it. And he um, really got us going. Yeah, and he really yeah. pushed us to get going and has helped us and supplied us with the tanks and stuff for our steelhead run. So there he is. This guy's the this guy's a legend we, out here. We, we so. call him the mayor. The mayor. The mayor. Check him out right there. Yeah! Yeah! Nice work, buddy! <laughs> All right, addicts. We dropped some crab pots. It's been a little bit. We had some good action this morning. We had four opportunities, killed the one Chinook. We threw off some crab pots, and we're gonna pull these babies up and see if there's anything. And if there's not crabs in them, then we're gonna move them out towards, there's been a lot of fresh water in the bay, and typically when you get a lot of fresh water and rain and stuff like that, a lot of those crabs will move out into the ocean or, or down in the bay. So we uh, are doing our first test run right here. So we're gonna find out real soon. We got our workhorse Samuelson right yeah, here. Yeah, he says we're gonna pull him up, but you guys watch, <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna watch <laughs> while Sam pulls him up. <laughs> he's young, man, he's got this. That's what these young aspiring guys do. <laughs> Wait till we get above it. There's no need to pull yet until we're right on top of her. I have a rider on there. I have a rider. Oh, yeah, we killed it. <laughs> nice female. All your chicken's gone, dude. Nice job, whoever racked that. Dude, dirty old, the, dirty old female. <laughs> old Sig would have had your ass. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes when these crabs get in here, they're strong and they'll tear it up and that bait wasn't latched in all the way. We lost the bait and the one crab that was in there was a female and here in the state of Oregon, you have to let females go and the males have to be a certain size restriction. So if there's actually bait in this one, we'll show you guys. <laughs> Sam obviously didn't work in the Bering Sea. Sig Hansen would have been pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this one's got some more weight to it. Okay. Yeah, it's got bait in it. <laughs> <laughs> it at least has the extra weight of the bait. Oh, 
one plug pool. There we go. Oh, we got at least one keeper. That's Two what keepers. happens when you get to keep the bait. See, the difference here, guys, is there's actually bait in here. So <laughs> if we actually caught some crabs, it's amazing how that works. There's three keepers. Here, we gotta use well, this fish. one's for sure. Pro Fisher. You don't even have to major that one. Oh, God. Oh, don't drop him. Hey, he's still, and he's a. Yeah, yeah, that's way a keeper. That's a Washington crab there. Yeah, it's gonna be real close. Oh, yeah, keeper. we're good. Here's the third one. Yeah, that's a Washington crab, too. Let's see. He's an Oregon crab. Oh, yeah. I'll show you guys kind of how you tell the difference. So, a female will have that big wide berth here, and the male will have the, the skinny berth here. So that's your male, that's your female. The females have to be released back into the bay. Males go home and go in our crab pot cooker. <laughs> right to the belly. Still, still nice and firm too. All right, well, let's get back to fishing, boys. For those of you that don't know, that's the real deal. That's the best recent product on the market right there. I feel like marlin right now. <laughs> I've already eaten a whole sandwich. A bunch of pretzels and dip, Reese's, about to eat Sam's trolley gummies too. Nothing else, I'm gonna get big. I suck at fishing, so we all saw me blow that one. There he is, baby. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's oh, it's a screamer. It's screaming. I'm just gonna leave him here. Oh my god. I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm coming out of here. Good, he's hit 200. He's at 200. He's oh at 200. my God, that was just that thing loaded up and just was burning. I told you this was gonna burning. get burning. I told you this. Oh, burn him, bake him, burn him, bake Hey, I gotta go easy on this. I'm telling you, dude, it's a big one. All right, forward, 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 forward. Give me some forward. Give me some forward. No other way. Coming at you? I don't know what's going on. They're good. He's gonna have that ceiling on him, is he? I don't know. I'm gonna have to... I have no idea if he's even there anymore. No, he's there. He's there. He's just coming at you. Yeah, he's still here. Here you go. He's still here. He's nice. Here. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a good, good one. My shoulder hurt. <laughs> <laughs> my shoulder hurt. Oh, doggy. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be a good one, boy. Big fish. Oh, Ooh, god, yeah. No fan. No, he's, he's a wild. He's oh, a it wild. is. Now, do we even want to put him in this net? That's why that thing was extra hot right there. Got the fin. Oh, here, take that. Oh my God. <laughs> you 100% saw it. Oh, yeah, it's a big oh, wild. Oh, it's a big wild. Look big at that thing. Wild. Look at that fin. How many yeah, times dude. did I tell you that that, cho that Toby was getting <laughs> yeah, bit? Did, well, when you say it six bad. times, it's going to happen eventually. No, right? I just knew that. <laughs> I knew that spin on that thing was just uh, dirty. I'll just try to tail him. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll try to wild. Him. Well, this, Jumping We're just gonna unhook this lead, guys, so we can. So we don't get it in my teeth. Yeah, so Dave doesn't wear it. <laughs> Sam, I'll hand yeah, you, 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 you do the. Or if someone hold the rod in case I gotta let go of him. I think I'll get him on this pass. Nice fish. Oh, it's a dandy. Yeah, I'm gonna try here. Yeah, I got it. All right, he's hooked free. All there right, yeah, <laughs> baby. That's a That's dandy. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, Dave. All right, right, there we go, guys. Nice big wild springer, unharmed. We're gonna let him go. We just decided just to, yeah, just to tail it and keep it out of the net, but it's hot. Here it goes. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, Alex. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's Stop. finally got one to we stick. We got a mountain of time to catch more fish yes, too, so. Do. Not even noon. Woo! We're doing good, okay. We're drifting into the drifting old oyster into fields. The oyster fields. Yeah. Might as well drink some red line where I'm listening to red line. Oh boy. Good for a while. Oh, oh look at him, here they come! Yeah. Kill the music, they'll come. Kill your motors and they'll but there's a you don't get to see this until I'm a oh, very this is awesome. awesome you guys. Alright addicts, that was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys got as good a vision of that as we did, but 
we were sitting here trolling, hadn't had a bite for a little while, and I think we understand why, because we got to see the rare occurrence of orcas in Tillamook Bay, something you don't see very often. And, uh, you know, it was pretty cool. There's it looked like three or four of them. Hopefully we'll catch them on the way back out, but they came blasting through. It looked like a bull and a couple of cows. And, and uh, I don't know if they're in here feeding on salmon or they're gonna be chasing seals or sea lions up the, up the bay, but they'll probably work themselves up into that shallow area and then turn back around. So hopefully we'll get a good, vi or a good view for you guys. But pretty cool, guys. I, I mean, you don't get to see, that's the beauty of being out here. You don't get to see stuff like that all the time. Pretty awesome. What do you think, Big Dave? Yeah, I'm excited. D Hopefully Dave started jumping scared. around, said, Orcas, Orcas! <laughs> I was freaking out. I was half asleep. <laughs> Woke me up. Hopefully they don't scare all the fish out of here. Though. Yeah, that's not the best for fishing, but. They'll scare the seals out though, right? Pretty cool. There he is, there he is. Ha ha! Tell him what for you. That's three times. I quit. Look at that short bus just spinning in the wind. Woo! Here in America, we got game time, baby. That was a hell of a run, guys. That was a fun morning. We, uh, I think we ended up having five chances. Let a big wild go. Killed an absolute beautiful spring chinook. But now we got some crabs. We got a spring chinook. We're gonna go chase a few bottom fish, see if we can put a couple tacos in the boat. So it's not the perfect tide for it, but we're gonna go give it a run and see if we can catch a maybe a link cod or a couple rockfish. And, and, and we'll, if, if it's not fishing out there, we might stop back in, make a little more pass for springers. But I don't know. Come along, addicts. Leave a comment below. What do you think? We're gonna find a couple rockfish, and have the ultimate uh, seafood meal. I think so. Let's go. Racing hat on here. Whew. Strap it in, boys. Strap it in. Okay, here's a bunch of bait right here. Uh, it might not be bait. Or rock fish. Or it could be rock fish. Ooh, was that a fish? He just had one. That felt good too. God, I, I see some big things. Oh, oh my God, quit messing around. Just catch him. Is that another one? Oh, oh I'm getting bit right down now. Here. Ooh, I'm marking some stuff. I was just getting bit. Oh, he chewed me up. Dude, there's a complete mouth print around my whole hair. As you can see, you can like almost see the perfect mouth print outline here. Where it goes around. He's guarding me up. I'm gonna have to catch him now. Fish on! Oh, fish on! Is he off or is he nope, on? He's there. He tied my damn drag. <laughs> oh, hey. Taco! 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 A little copper fish. We're gonna send him back, but he's a little small. Nice little copper fish. Sweet. Go on, buddy. There he goes. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, oh. Yeah. hold this. He's there. Hold this. Nice. Fish on. Fish <laughs> on. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, hey, hey. A little blue. Taco Tuesday, baby. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Oh, sorry, addicts. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, Sambo, Sambo! Not big, but it's a fish. Oh my god! This doesn't represent my overall fishing career, I promise. I promise I get bigger ones. There he is, Sean Reel. Sean got him! Cameraman's on! That's a better fish too, Sean. -o. That's a good one. Oh! Little Copperino. Oh, I'm getting bit. Oh my 
Hey, stop right here. I just missed one too. Mark it. You only got the 36. I already did. Oh my God, I just missed him again. Get down there, Sam. Ooh, look at Shano, the cameraman. Big daddy. That's some good fish. <laughs> oh, oh, Sean, Sean, Sean. Sean, yeah, baby. <laughs> you suck, dude. I don't know. Sam and Sean, the trophy. Oh, that's a nicer bass. Yeah, that's a good one. We'll take him all day. We're eating tacos tonight. Woo. Nice one. Oh, we're gonna have like a six pack of tacos now, boys. Oh, another copper. Oh, God. Hey, we're getting pretty fish. Sushi, baby. <laughs> yeah, we got all our stuff done. Got we all got a couple of crabs. There it is. Yeah. Crabs yeah. cooking. We're going to show you guys a super simple, easy recipe. This is Dave's special. The Coastal <laughs> Spring Chinook. Coastal Spring Chinook. You know what, guys? You don't need to do anything to them. A little bit of sea salt, a little bit of pepper. That's all we're going to do. I mean, sometimes we do these extravagant. Yep. Cheese and this and that, but really with a salty springer, this is all you need. Sometimes less is more, especially with these fish. Just season it like you're gonna season your steak. A little salt, a little pepper. That's it. And as what people don't realize is with this fish not spawning, it spawns a long time from now, so it's got all these fats and oils in it. You don't have to add that additional butter no, and oil, and, and sometimes it kills it. You'll see when this fish is cooking, it's gonna have its own oils without putting anything in it. So some, sometimes some of the best more. flavored salmon there is. Hands for sure. down, for Coastal sure. Spring Chinook, best recipe there is. Got to give it a try. Let's get it on the grill, buddy. Okay, we're grilling her up. We pulled her up, and definitely want to barbecue every time, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Cardinal sin is to not put it on the barbecue. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, addicts, here it is. Here we go. A natural piece of cooked fish, some crab, Dig right out of the it. cooker. You'll never have Dungeness crab as good as right out of the cooker. Nothing better than this, baby. Yep. Let's give it a little quick sample. Oh, and here's my favorite thing. Take this meat, dump it right into their butter right here. That's the crab butter. Oh, boy. You got your natural butter. Mmm. All give natural. It a little ding, ding. Natural fish. Let's try this. This is my official first bite of Springer this year. This is going to be my official first bite of Springer as well. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, oh just like crazy. I remember it. Oh, my God. Oh, you know what else is going to be good? Oh, dip it in the butter. Dip it in the butter, baby. Ooh, Ooh give me a chunk. Full scent. See the oil comes oh off of this thing? So much. Look at all the white fat on this here. It's just crazy. Fat, oil, gore. Oh, going for the dunk. A little, little dunk, dunk, or Oh, in the my God. That's bomb. That is dirty. Well, addicts, we Woo! appreciate you guys for hanging out with us. It was an awesome day. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, you Sam, for joining Thank you, us. Buddy. Yes, yes, it was a great day. Hey, if you guys want to see another video just like this, go ahead and click this link up here. Turn those bells on. Leave a comment, and you can be the comment of the day just like this guy here. Give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you on the water.